Adrian, I wanted to ask you about the mural behind you Absolutely. and uh, what it represents. How many stories is that? Uh, the mural is, so the building is 22 stories tall. So we're looking at about 220 It's uh, 50 feet wide. Mm -hmm. So the mural uh, took about 285 hours to paint. That's over the course of three months. Um, I had an assistant on hand to help me with the, uh, the swing stage. Uh, yeah. Swing stage is what we used to paint it. No scaffolding at all, of course. It's, the mural is at 22 stories tall, so we're looking at about 220 uh, feet in the air. So uh, no scaffolding at all, no ladders, really. Just uh, swing stage. So, uh, so it's the swing, swing stage that platform that yeah it's a platform um, we separated it in two sections so we did one half of the mural then moved the next stage over to the other half mm -hmm. so the first half we did was about 30 feet uh, wide mm -hmm. so we had a 30 foot wide swing stage that we were using going up and down mm -hmm. again my system was there mainly just to help me with the swing switch stage because there has to be two people on the swing stage there's two machines that work um, uh, in sequence in order to go up and down Prime, my primer is usually a um, latex based primer really like a heavy duty type primer uh, apply in various colors. This way it's not like I'm painting the wall white, then having to paint it a color or color it afterwards. So the priming process really helps to cut down um, on the time just in terms of separating things and figuring out how things work spatially. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's the, I work mainly off my, my iPhone <laughs> or my, just my, my phone on hand uh, to deal with the scale. I uh, have a system of gridding it out so there's no projections at all. I use uh, spray paint for the detailed sections, mm -hmm. uh, so most of the details for the face, nose, and all the details really, mm -hmm. uh, instruments, fingers, are all done with spray paint. I mm -hmm. love using spray paint because it's got such a wide variety of colors to, to play with. Okay. I do a lot of my uh, mixing of colors kind of in my head because you've got specific colors. Mm -hmm. uh, they're so specific um, and direct that you with spray paint, so it makes it really easy. And plus the spray paint is so durable as well that it's, uh, it lasts, you know, the life of the building more or less. Mm -hmm. So that's probably like a hundred years. Yeah, let's say, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> I'll go on record. Okay. Um, so uh, this was uh, commissioned by the. Oh, it's commissioned by the BIA. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the the downtown young BIA mm -hmm. that uh, put the program put this project on. Last year they got me to do the lab, the uh, other side, which is the north side of the building. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I say a little bit less, it's a smaller piece in terms of. Um, uh, population so there was only nine people there's nine artists featured on the last one and this one there's 26 uh, faces artists uh, of course there's bands so mm -hmm. some bands consist of you know five people so it kind of uh, adds up <laughs> it takes up more space yeah it takes up more space more time of course because it's just that much more time to put in uh, to the details yeah um so this is all about music and the yeah. music industry in Toronto over the last how many years from the beginning? Well, to be specific, um, again, the last year, the, the mural on the north side um, was really commensurating the 50s and 60s mm -hmm. of young streets, venues that were really prominent and, and uh, prosperous mm -hmm. and really brought a lot of uh, name or, or just recognition to young streets. Big name acts came to perform and uh, you know, show their talents. Yeah. So that was the 50s and 60s. This side here represents the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's so much talent that you couldn't just do it all in one pile. So we, we spread it over the two walls. Yeah. Okay. Um, so are you influenced, how were you influenced by music uh, during this, the painting of this mural? Well, I really took my time to listen to the music of the artist. So as I was painting, I might be able to share some of the videos with you uh, later on the road, but I did a few videos well, as I was painting the, mm -hmm. the artists, you know, like Rush, for instance, um, Dizzy Gillespie, you yeah. know, Five Rogues, um, Carol Pope, uh, Kathy Young, you know. As I was uh, painting the face, I, I really wanted to have a sense of their presence being here, so I would listen to their music, which was incredible music. Um, the band at the top, uh, uh, Lee Von Helms, it's, it's just incredible. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So you appreciate the music? Oh yeah, widely. Like I, I'm a DJ as well, so oh, yeah? it's uh, it's the best of both worlds for me to be able to to you know express uh, how I feel about music mm -hmm. on such a grand scale. Do you DJ in clubs or? I DJ in clubs at times. I'm more you know a little bit more laid back. I'm very much uh, uh, kind of a hip hop head as you as it were. So uh, I listen to a lot of jazz and funk and soul music. So it's you know and rock, anything that's. Uh, 
uh, has influenced uh, you know, the 90s of hip hop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's an influence on me. So what do you listen to now yourself? What do I listen to? Again, like, uh, you know, <laughs> being exposed, I can really dig a lot of Dizzy Gillespie. I love painting to instrumentals. So it's great to just like have that bang in your house, you know, I'm working and being creative. Okay. And you said you're a graphic artist. This is yes. what you do normally. Well, no, well, not normally. What I do normally is this. But what I've done in the past, and what uh, my, uh, my educational background is, is in graphic design. Mm -hmm. um, so I've spent, you know, I get uh, 10, 15 years in the industry, you know, designing video games and you know, stuff for, like YTV, cartoons and whatnot. So mm -hmm. uh, I kind of wanted to get out of that, uh, out of the cubicle, and uh, yeah, very much outside of the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and climb walls like Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So you said you also did um, another mural that I, uh, I'm aware of is the, yeah. the one in Reggae Lane. Yeah, the one, uh, there's two pieces I did in Reggae Lane. Uh, thank you so much to Josh Cole, for uh, Councilor Josh Cole, for, for um, championing the entire naming of that laneway and what he's done for that community. So he got me to um, commissions through uh, Steps Initiatives um, to do the Reggae Lane mural, which features you know, prominent musicians. Uh, during, I guess, would be anywhere from the 60s right up to the 80s mm -hmm. during um, uh, the reggae kind of uh, culture development in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Ska music, it's got a real rich history. And in Toronto itself, like, you know, right across the board, if you're thinking of uh, funk, soul, rock. We're talking about other works that you've done that are similar to this kind of uh, uh, piece here with music. And, um... The Reggae Lane was um, kind of the first mural that I did uh, that was related to music. Um, the Reggae Lane piece is up in Edmonton and Oakwood. It's, it's kind of it's 100 feet wide, 20 feet tall, and it features so about uh, 12 to 15 artists from the Little Jamaica community or the Reggae Lane community. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, again, it, it was just really about ca capturing the music and the soul. So the piece is really vibrant. It's you know colors. The colors are ice green and gold, mm -hmm. which are again very prominent Jamaican uh, West Indian colors. Mm -hmm. uh, I are especially so so with the Rastafarian community that uh, closely identify with reggae music as a whole. Mm -hmm. So what's your background? Um, I'm Guyanese. My parents are Guyanese. I've lived in Guyana. I lived in Guyana for seven, eight years as mm -hmm. a kid. So I definitely have that uh, cultural experience uh, kind of uh, within me. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then you moved to Canada. To then Toronto. I moved to Canada. I was born in Toronto, just a couple blocks oh. from here at Women's College. But I went to Guyana when I was one, when I was <laughs> one years old, and lived there until I was at the uh, age of uh, eight, nine years old when I came back to Canada. Mm -hmm. And I've pretty much been here since. Mm -hmm.